Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I wanted to make a video talking about why I decided to buy a Fuji X-T5 and why this is going to be my main photography camera moving into 2024. So I started this channel back in 2015, but I really didn't start posting consistently till around 2019. And at that time when I started really posting on YouTube, I was actually using the X-T3 and the X-H1 as my main cameras for both photography and video. So naturally a lot of the content on my channel was about those cameras. And then in 2020, I had the opportunity to to review the X-T4, which I really liked, but it wasn't until I had the opportunity to play with the X-H2S that I was really blown away with the progress that Fuji has made in the last four or five years. Now, as you guys might already know, the Sony a7 IV has been my main camera of choice for the last two years. I've used it heavily, literally since the day that it came out. I didn't have it sent to me by Sony, I bought it with my own money. Same thing goes for the Fuji that I got as well. Paid for everything with my own money, nothing was sent to me or loaned to me. And yeah, in the last two years of using that a7 IV, the shutter count on the camera definitely reflects that heavy use. So I decided it was time to retire the camera. Yes, I could just wait until the shutter goes it may have lasted much much longer but I personally would rather not be you know out in the middle of nowhere when that happens or overseas traveling and be stuck without a camera so that sort of led me to thinking about what sort of camera I wanted to get next whether I wanted to go and buy another a7 IV upgrade to an a7 R5 or try a new system completely and ever since I would tried the X-H2S I was just really curious about the X-T5 and what that camera was like to shoot so I decided to grab the X-T5 along with a couple of lenses which I'll talk about in a second but I do want to say that I have still got all of my Sony gear except for the a7 IV so I still have all of my lenses they're in this cabinet here behind me I'm also filming on the Sony ZV-E1 this will continue to be my main video camera I love it for so many reasons, the quality, the form factor, the fact that I can just run and gun this camera and use the inbuilt gyro stabilization. It's got a flip out screen so I can see myself. It's just perfect in almost every way.
So I want to share a couple of my first impressions with the X-T5 so far. First and foremost, the form factor is great. I'm very familiar with this style of body, having used it for many, many years, both professionally and as a hobbyist camera. The image quality and the colors coming off this 40 megapixel sensor are amazing. It's definitely a meaningful step up from the 26 megapixel sensor that was in the previous cameras. And over the past month of using this camera, I have just taken some really beautiful photos that I'm super, super happy with. I love that they've added some new crop modes to the X-T5, specifically the 4x5 aspect ratio. So you can shoot in this 4x5 ratio and that is going to apply directly to vertical photos in Instagram. So you don't need to do any additional cropping in Lightroom or Photoshop. You can just take those photos in their aspect ratio that you shot them in and they will import into Lightroom or if you're using JPEGs, um, they'll basically come out at the correct size for posting to Instagram. And I've really loved shooting in the 4x5 aspect ratio. I think this is my favorite format to shoot in a camera right now. I was actually able to use the Hasselblad X2D in the last couple of months and that also had a 4x5 crop mode. If social media and Instagram is the main way that you're showing your photos to the world, it is really helpful to have that preview of what your photo is going to look like on the screen itself. I also really love the lens selection with these cameras and all the lenses are super high quality, but they're not crazy, crazy expensive. Right now I've got the 35 millimeter F2. It's quite a small lens. This is actually the first one that I picked up for the X-T5, but since then I've bought a couple of other lenses that I have really been loving so far. First up here, I've got the 27 millimeter 2.8 pancake lens. And this is more of a fun lens for me. It's something that I can toss on the camera Camera, walk around with it and take really beautiful photos um, more in low pressure situations where I'm not exactly sure what I'm going out to photograph but just having a camera and lens on me that performs really great I think is a really good idea and then I have these two lenses so these are going to be my two main lenses I'm gonna do a full video on these two lenses and why I decided to pick them up but first off we have the 16 millimeter 1.4 so this is a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent. I absolutely love this focal length. I would have gone with the 18 millimeter because it's just a technically better lens, um, but I'm actually really glad that I went with the 16. It is a little bit softer and not as good at autofocus. However, this lens has a lot of character. I just really, really love it. And I love the 24 millimeter focal length. I've also got a Pro Mist filter on the front. Uh, this one's actually a mist filter from Nissi, which I've been using for a long time and really like. The second focal length that I got is the 33 millimeter 1.4. And I really fell in love with this lens when I was able to test it out with the X-H2S. It's a 50 millimeter equivalent, which lately I've really been enjoying getting back to a 50 millimeter focal length. It's just very neutral and just very fun to use. It's also pretty small and lightweight. I have got a, another mist filter on the front. This is a quarter strength. The other one that I showed you guys was an eighth strength. This is actually a Tiffin mist filter, even though I prefer honestly the mist filters from Nissi. I couldn't get one from them in this size and I'd have to use a bunch of step up rings, which makes the lens a little bit larger at the front, which I don't really like. It doesn't quite fit in my bag as nice. So I just decided to go for Tiffin for now. And the one quarter strength I've found is pretty good so far.
I think one thing that is overlooked quite often is how you actually feel when you're taking photos and the actual user experience of a camera. And I really have loved the X-T5 in that respect. When I look at my photos, on the screen in the camera after taking them, I really feel a sense of satisfaction and photographing with this camera honestly just feels really fun. So that's why I have decided to use this as my main photography camera moving into 2024. I'm really excited to get out more, use this camera, take it overseas on different trips, different places. I'm definitely keen to share more of my in-depth thoughts after I've actually used the camera for multiple month period, I think I'll have a better grasp on the camera, the ins and outs, maybe offer a little bit more insight into who this camera is right for and all those good things like that. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed some of the images that I was able to create. Leave a like down below if you did and I will see you guys in the next video.